Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildberry. It is actually late last night for you guys and I have finally returned after a very busy day of work at the Pixel Biology community's many many projects to relax, unwind, and try to let my hair down in Wildberry. So I hope you guys are ready for a beautiful morning for you guys and a beautiful evening here in Wildberry where we're going to go ahead and spend some time with the villagers. We're also going to hopefully do something very special with the campsite and see exactly what these really cute letters from all of the villagers are because I have been sending them mail like every day and I am so excited to see what they have to say. Ah, all right, well, because yesterday we actually spent a ton of time putting down all of those rare flowers. <gasps> Peacock butterfly! Yes! Come here, beautiful! Gotcha! <laughs> but because yesterday we spent so much time putting down beautiful flowers and trying to figure out how to be able to get the rare hybrids, I thought today it would be really nice to spend time tidying up the town, visiting with the Able sisters and the Nooklings, and going ahead and seeing what the villagers are up to, just tending to the little tasks, you know? It's nice to be super busy some mornings with all of the things we have to do here in Wildberry, but other days I just want to hang out with the villagers. So first things first, let me see if I have, oh my gosh, we've got like such a messy inventory. I need to see if I have actually got, let's go find our cherry blossom wand and we're going to grab our clothes and see if we have something nice that we can actually wear to enjoy our time visiting with the villagers. So let me see, we can put the ax down in just a minute because I don't need that. Gosh, I forgot how I literally had to throw all of my tools basically out, out of my pockets and onto the ground when we went visiting to that hybrid island last night. That was so exciting. Yeah, all right, there we go. Organize that. I'm pretty sure I left my wand somewhere down here. Oh, our little park area is so cute, you guys. What do you think of it? I'm really proud about what we've done down here. Kitty's out! I wonder how many times we're going to run into each other today. Meow. Aren't these paving stones absolutely fabulous? The plaza is the public face of the island, after all, so of course we want it to look its best. Okay, that's adorable that she's tidying up the plaza, and these two are talking. Hey, Sky. How are things, Splish? Things are good? I have no complaints, at least. Oh, Sky, you're so cute. Talk to me. You being trendelicious, you staying fashion-tastic, it can be tricky this time of year, huh? Sorry, Puddles. I didn't understand at least half of what you just said. I was just trying to make small talk. Oh, I've heard of small talk. Okay, what to small talk about? Um, I know. Time travel. <gasps> Sky, shh. We're not supposed to reveal. Sometimes we might have to partake in time travel. Keep it on the down low or Rossetti's going to hear us. Can you imagine meeting dinosaurs or even the future you? Ooh, dinosaurs would be fun. But then I wonder, does the time outside of now truly exist? The more I dwell on it, the more the mystery deepens. And yet I continue to dream. Anyway... Sky, I love you. I love how she absolutely doesn't have small talk down. Instead, we're contemplating the meaning of now. Did I do the small talk thing? Well, thank you. Let's do it again sometime. Okay, I love those two. That was precious and adorable. Oh, Sky. Oh, good. And this, oh yeah, Sahara is visiting, isn't she? Oh, we'll have to go see if we can find her. And I did find my cherry blossom wand. So you know what, guys? Let's see if we have something good to wear for winding down. Uh, let's see. I have a fish queen outfit in order to... <gasps> Peacock butterfly! I have an outfit made for catching fish. Oops, that's an ant. Tell me where your queen is. Let's see. Where'd the peacock butterfly go? Ah, there it is. Got it. One step closer to being able to pay off our new bridge, actually, my friends, with that. So, let's see. I don't think that our really cool water tribe looking little Viking fish queen outfit will work. The Babmoo, which is supposed to say bamboo, is cute. And I like the sound of my little shoes, slap, my Zori slapping against, or is it, 
Can't remember what these shoes are called, but I like the sound of them against the plaza. We have the Builder outfit, Jungle Jane outfit, Rain outfit, and Birder outfit. Hmm. You know, guys, I don't think we have a good casual outfit. Maybe that'll be one of the things that I try to do tonight. Let's go over and see what the Able Sisters have because they... Oh, and we'll... Oh! Kitty's talking to Cranston! Oh, Siri, you're here just in time. Cranston is trying to figure out what the J stands for in P-B and J sandwich. I kid you not. Kitty, I love her. She's like a teacher, isn't she? I know, I know. Don't rush me. It's peanut butter and j... j cream spinach? Oh, you silly thing. You know it's got to be a J word. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I think Kitty, I'm going to say she's a pianist who is also a piano teacher. And she also is a teacher in other ways. Very patient tutor. Man, I hate it when she treats me like I don't know anything. But, um, uh, Siri, do you know what the J stands for in PB and J sandwich? <laughs> Jelly, jewels, junk, jellyfish. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll go ahead, uh, let's go ahead and say... I kind of want to say jellyfish, just to tease them. But we'll, we'll side with Kitty because she's new. Jelly? Oh yeah, that's right. It's totally jelly. I knew that. I just forgot I knew it. Please, I don't think you would have figured that out on your own. Tell me this then. What kind of jelly? You don't think I know the answer to that? Ha! It's cream spinach jelly. So there, sweatband. Good grief. I give up. Put whatever you like on your peanut butter sandwich, my dear. Your stomach is made of stronger stuff than mine. Okay, that's adorable too. <laughs> oh, look at everybody be friends! They're all just waving to each other. Guys! Greetings! Hi! Okay, don't pay attention to me. That's fine. That's fine. I-, I that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, and Annalisa! She's hanging out outside too. It was warm when I sat down here. Another sign that spring's arrived. Oh, she seems to be enjoying her time outside of her house as well. This is so nice. I like relaxing evenings like this. Let's see what Ursula's up to because she's always doing a DIY in the evening when I visit her. Is she doing one now? Oh no! Wow, normally she's DIYing. Hey Siri, make yourself at home, group. That can't possibly be an ant in your pocket, can it? Okay, so priceless ain't a word I'd use here. But I'd totally be willing to fork over 120 bells. Alright, alright, here you go. That rules! Everybody should have a friend like you, Groomf. <laughs> I can't believe she wanted the ant. That's kind of adorable. Thank you, Ursula. It ain't even that rare. She's so cute. She seems to have gotten really casual. And her, her speech has gotten a lot more slangy lately. With, like, say, an ain't and stuff like that. Let's see. Is Sheldon home? Maybe he's doing a cool DIY. A survival DIY. Sheldon, you home? Nope, he's not home. All right. Well, let's go down and see if there's a fun casual outfit that just really tickles my fancy. Over in the Able Sisters for our nice... Oh, <gasps> that's right! We absolutely need to get in here because... Oh, Annalisa, you're studying a book about bugs? You guys, I think there might be some bugs in this tree. Oh, there's none. Okay, I, sorry about that, Annalisa. I really thought that she was staring at the book and then staring at the tree because she knew that there were some bugs there. But apparently that's not the case. All right, well, we'll be sure to pick up all the fallen fruit because Annalisa has told us many times before she doesn't want to have fallen fruit in her front yard. And let's go ahead and get the little Cub Scout outfit, the little scouting outfit that we can give to some of the villagers so they can be our scouts and hang out with us. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, is this a Kappa outfit? <laughs> the Able Sisters have such cool things. Let's see if they have a good casual outfit for us. And definitely need to buy the scouting outfit. All right, so what do we have? Career jacket. Very nice. Not exactly what I'm looking for, for relaxing with the villagers at evening, in, at, like at night. Hmm. Earbuds combo, pretty cool. And the explorer tee. Oh, there's, it's the explorer tee in different colors. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I love this one with the little green tie. I love the green one with the red, but I think the, the khaki one with the green tie would match more things. 
We have cute silk shirts here. Jockey uniforms to go with the jockey hat that one of the villagers gave me the other day. Maxi shirt dress. Retro dress. Shirt dress. Retro dress. And this is a Kappa cap. <gasps> and it's a little police cap. I have to give this to Pierce. He is kind of like our little island sheriff, always going around making sure that everybody is okay. That would be adorable. And then there's pleather sneakers. Hmm. All right. We. I think the Kappa cap is really cute. I've not seen anybody wear the Kappa cap yet. I have. I didn't even know that existed. And then anything casual? Would I wear the shirt dress? Not really. Not really the retro dress or the maxi dress. So alas, there's nothing casual to wear, but I will totally buy this cute little outfit and we can get lots of copies. Oh, we could give a copy to Sheldon. That would be so cute. I want to get a little green explorer's tee to give to Sheldon. All right, I don't want to wear these. That's okay. We can be the casual like gardener tonight. Thank you, Mabel. And we're going to go ahead and wiggle back in. And, I mean, the career jacket is kind of cute. I guess I could give it to one of the villagers when I'm done with it. Green career jacket, earbuds combo. Hmm. I really wanted something to wear tonight to just be like, oh, we're ready to, to relax after a long day of work. But we'll just, there we go, we'll just buy these. The important thing in buying them, even if we don't plan on keeping them for very long, is that that way we'll have them in our catalog. Also, let's see how Sable's doing tonight. Hey, I have a little present for you, Siri. <gasps> what? She has a present for us. Oh my gosh, I talk to her every day and we've built up a great relationship and found out about their dead parents and how she helped to raise Label and, and, and Mabel. But Sable, what's this? Some pattern fabric. I made it myself. You know how you can customize furniture by switching out the parts that are made of fabric? I, um, thought you might want to use my fabric for doing that. I also made lots of different kinds of patterns, so if you see one you like, please feel free to use it. Anytime you're customizing furniture at a workbench, just select pattern to choose one you like. But it's not like you can use it on all furniture. It varies from piece to piece. I worked really hard on making these. I hope you like using them. <gasps> That's so cute! She gave us a special gift! Okay, you guys, we need to go make some furniture that we can, like, show that off on. Oh, bye, Mabel! That's so cute! I can't believe that we have actually deepened our friendship enough with Sable that she's given us a gift! I love that! What do I have that I could gift everybody right now? Um, peacock butterflies, stadium wall, peacock butterfly... We've also got the jockey's helmet, a folding floor lamp. Oh, hey, Julian. Do I have anything? I mean, I guess I could give him the jockey's helmet because he's a horse. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, Siri. Hey, like horses, Julian. Ah, oh, just look at the sky. Mother Nature always picks such on-trend clothes for the season. All right, let's go ahead and let's give him the jockey helmet to be ironic. Because, you know, he's a horse. It can't be, can it? A jockey's helmet? Let's try this baby on right now. But your horn! Your horn! Thanks, Siri. I'm pretty jazzed about the way I look. Hold up, I can't let you just give me something that good for free. A dotted raincoat. <gasps> Cute! Thank you, Julian. I needed something to wear tonight. Alright, let's try this dotted raincoat on. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's precious. All right, and we'll go ahead and take off our straw hat. And now we have a little casual outfit to wear for the evening. That's so cute. I love how that worked out. Uh, do I have anything to gift to, Is or to Annabelle? Let's actually take a peek inside Nook's Cranny. Maybe there's something we can buy today from the boys. Hey, guys. Okay, so you guys are selling a fragrance diffuser. That actually sounds like a good gift for Annabelle. I'm going to go ahead and buy it because myths have been busted about what to do in Animal Crossing to have the Tommy and Timmy duo upgrade their shop. And one of the things that has probably been proven is it needs to at least be 30 days after you have opened your island. Mabel needs to be on the island. And, oh, he scratched his little Tim Tim Tommy. That was so cute. Deep breath, Siri. 
And you also need to spend 300,000 bells. That's the, the estimate is 300,000 bells or something ridiculous like that here. I'm not sure if that's true, but basically we need to just keep buying things from the boys anytime we can. So let's get a couple of these. All right, we'll get a couple mugs. This is actually really cute because we can just go around giving these like coffees to everybody. So I'm gonna buy like three of them and we'll just hand them out to whatever villagers will take them. There we go. I sure am interested in the mug, Tommy. Thank you. Excellent, thank you guys. Also, this actually looks really cute for being able to put next to a garden spot, a garden faucet. Let's go ahead and buy it. I'm sure that that'll be useful to put next to like a little garden zone. And even if we don't keep it forever, that's fine. We've now given them some more money to the local economy. And, oh, we could give the fairy tale umbrella to someone. Let's give it to Puddles. That seems like a good gift to Puddles. And it's important to stimulate the local economy, after all. Uh, let's see. I don't see any walls I really... Ooh, that abstract wall is really cool. But I think I'm good here. Alright, thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Timmy. Let me go ahead and sell some things to you guys now. What a nice evening to spend with them. I love just being able to spend some time giving gifts to everybody. Let's see. Folding floor lamp. We might as well save that to give to somebody. Peacock butterfly. Fragrance diffuser. Stadium wall. Peacock butterfly. Cherries. But it is really nice. And we have all these mugs that we can give away as gifts now too. I love being able to take care of our villagers. All right, there you go, guys. Thank you so much. I'll buy more stuff from you in the future so that we'll hopefully be able to have them upgrade a really cute little shop right here. All right. Annalisa! Let's go ahead and we're going to give Annalisa a nice gift of the fragrance diffuser because she seems like she has a fancy house that would appreciate that. You're really giving me a fragrance diffuser? Thanks so much. I love that color. Pink. Noted. I've been looking at things like this to use as accents in my place. So I do think they all have favorite items and it's or favorite colors. And it's really worth it to look out for a villager's favorite color. Also, let's gather up all of the fruit and try to sell them and pay off the new bridge tonight. All of the exotic fruit, at least. I can gather the apples later. Gosh, we look so cute. And we have gifts to give everybody, which makes me super happy. Gosh, and we have so many cherries over here. Very nice. Gather up the cherries for cherry jam. Oh, and I almost forgot the Sahara is here. And we haven't collected our DIY for the day. Guys, Wildberry is so beautiful. I love that we're starting to build little gardens. We're able to speak more with Annalisa, who... Oh, here, we'll clear up whatever this is in front of Annalisa's yard. She really likes to keep her yard tidy. Yay, a fossil! So I imagine she'd be super grateful if we could like clean this up and make the beach look a little nicer. Is this another fossil right down here already? Convenient. Yep. So some fossils washed up on the beach, how fun! So we will take care of Annalisa's house at some point. It might be nice in the near future to kind of pick a villager and to tend to their home and try to help out with whatever they're doing. Oh, Octavian's home. Oh, and the oranges are ready to pick my favorite fruit. I love oranges. I also love a good Al Appalachian Mountain Mountain Peach. They're hard to find though. <gasps> He's reading a comic book that's so cute. Hey, glad to see you. You must really be racking up them nook miles, Siri. Want to know how I puzzled that out? I just saw you grinning at your phone and guessed is all, sucker. Thanks, Octavian. All right, let's go ahead and give you something. We're going to go ahead and give him a... Not the garden faucet! I thought that was a mug! A garden faucet? I didn't mean to give that to you. I was going to put that outside. I could see some redecorating my whole place around this piece. Ah, dear. And we can't even buy another one. I really was going to give him a mug to be like, here, have a hot drink. Oh, well. Bye, Octavian. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. That's okay. 
now he's probably going to mess up his cool design with a garden faucet. But you can only do so much once a mistake like that happens. All right. I see Sahara, but we just got some rugs from her. So, <gasps> yes! Pierce! Whew, nearly sprained my creativity. What do you think? What is it? You're not going to believe it. I made a, a jungle flooring? Pierce, you're the best! I'm going to go get your police hat and give it to you right away. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out. And stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine, and you know I'm all about sharing my routines. Yes, I want to learn how to make jungle flooring, Pierce. All right. This is too exciting. Pierce is best boy. He always has our back, you guys. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. He always has my back. Look at his house. It's full of the gifts we've been giving him from a cartoon set and a succulent planter that I recently gave him. Like, to the bird bath I gave him a long time ago. Pierce, thank you. Jungle flooring! Oh, I'm so excited! Our villagers give us, look at this! Our villagers give us the best things! Okay, we're absolutely going to have a fun time. Thank you, Pierce! Of all the things he could have taught us, jungle flooring is so perfect for being able to work on the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center. Also, hey, Puddles! My fairy dress? Toast evidence that you've got fab tasting clothes. She loves wearing that dress. That's so cute. All right, let's go ahead and give her she probably wants a pink one, but we'll go ahead and give her the fairy tale umbrella to go with her fairy dress. A fairy tale umbrella! I'm like not usually an umbrella person, but I love this one. Thank you so much, Siri. Yay! Okay, so that probably helped our relationship with her, if nothing else. Sometimes it's nice just to be nice. Also, Octavian, you have an egg hiding behind your house. <laughs> there was still somehow. One more egg from Zipper hiding behind here. And I can't believe that of all the things he put on, <laughs> Julian's actually wearing the jockey hat that we gave him. He's a unicorn! There's some deep levels of irony there. All right, let's see, we'll grab those. Who's over here? Cranston! We'll give you a nice warm mug of, of something to drink, Cranston. All right, what's the latest? I hacked into the wild bear mainframe and saw that you have a lot of Nookbone Cranny Island miles. <laughs> Pardon? Cranston? <laughs> Actually, I watched a, movies where, a movie where the heroes hacked into mainframes. I didn't get it, but it's fun to say. Okay, that was adorable. What's up, Sweat Band? All right, this is yours. Let's go ahead and give him a nice uh, hot chocolate for the night. We'll say that's what those mugs are. There you go, Cranston. Thanks, I love this kind of stuff, but you knew that, didn't you? Once I've cleaned up my house, I'll set this out. I can't wait to hear uh, what all my bug friends think about it. That's so cute. All right, so Sky is sitting down. Oh, and Kitty, can I give you anything, Kitty? Ah, oh, yes, we meet again, Ro. No, we cannot. All right. Just nice to know that Kitty is hanging out and that she's trying to teach Cranston. All right, so we've got some fun things to work with today. <gasps> the sea globe has a little fish inside of it. I didn't see that earlier. No pun intended because it's a sea globe, but I didn't see that earlier yesterday when we were working with it because the glare of the sun actually hid it from me. But how fun is that, guys? Oh, I can't wait to put our sea globe out. That's going to be so nice. And let's see what kind letters the villagers have sent us before we go inside to craft the jungle floor that we just learned and also to craft some sort of bed or something we can use Sable's furniture, like Sable's beautiful furniture patterns on because she crafted them special for us. That is so cool. All right, Ursula. Hey Siri, thanks for gifting me your gift. You have a real gift for gift giving. You made me realize something I have uh, been wrong on. I've got to write more from the heart than the head. Come find me and let's chat. Talk to you later, Ursula. Sheldon? To Stone Ab Siri, thanks for the gift. I'm dedicating an entire day of jogging to you. It's just too bad I don't know what muscular words to say thanks. You really know how to gift. Send more letters, all right? Yours in sort is Sheldon. <laughs> Annalisa? 
To Siri, you did a great job picking out the kind of furniture I would like, because you sent me something I already have. I appreciate your gesture, and I'm sending you something in return. Thank you, Annalisa. Annalisa, I sent you a bunch of flowers. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and see what Annalisa sent us. So cute. Ra pardon? Annalisa! Annalisa, why? <laughs> oh, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Chips though, because he's kind of got a beard like that after, you know, quarantine and everything. Um, okay, that's really funny. Annalisa, that hurt a little bit. I think that she's a little bit prim. But not in a bad way, just she really wants things to be more organized. And I mean, I literally have a trail of ants that I'm purposely farming next to a whole bunch of crafting material and a koi fish that I have thrown on the ground. So I could understand how perhaps Annalisa is, is gaining a little bit of a sense of exhaustion around me. Octavian? To my foodie friend Siri, thanks for the gift you sent me the other day. I'll never turn up my nose uh, at something tasty like that. I sent him a bunch of cherries. Well, I'm sending along a little something in return, in hopes you check your mailbox just as often. Hungrily, Octavian. Alright, so we'll go ahead and see what Octavian has sent us. Because that is really cute. It's a rounded beard. I can't believe she sent that to us. Retro sweater! Oh my gosh, this so looks like something Octavian would have. Octavian's like from outer space and he just shows up like straight out of the 80s. That's amazing. Oh, I love it when you get unexpected gifts from the villagers. And finally from Kitty. How do you do, Siri? The gift you sent is very generous. You won't be getting it back, darling. I'm going to keep the letter you wrote me. I will cherish it always because it came from you. Well, I appreciate you reading this. With warm regards, Kitty. All right, so we seem to be getting along well with our villagers, though I begin to worry that perhaps we are wearing on Annalisa's nerves. But that's okay, because even if she left, we can invite her back again. <laughs> because we have her amiibo card, so we're safe. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and get a little bit of crafting done. We're going to craft ourselves up the jungle flooring to celebrate Pierce being amazing and giving us that. Oops, and then we're also going to go ahead and craft up, and let's check our DIY to make sure we know what we need. A piece of furniture. The bed. We're going to craft a double bed. We'll go ahead and craft a simple bed so that we can customize it and see what kind of patterns Sable has just given us because she is oh so sweet. All right, let's open this up and... Oh, and we have so many books. We still need to have like a library day in the near future because we have so many books we need to use too. I also have a lot of clothes I need to go through. <laughs> I guess I could have worn. Oh, let's find the hat to give to Pierce. There we go. The hat for Pierce. And I guess I could have worn some of these as my casual clothes. But now I have a cute little rain jacket that apparently I already had. Thanks, Julian. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And I have that collarless coat. But I like the rain jacket right now. It feels really comfy. Uh, okay, let's see. We're going to grab a whole bunch of clumps of weeds and a whole bunch of clay. Because that's what we need in order to go ahead and craft. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. The jungle flooring! This is totally right up my alley. I'm so happy. Yay! Okay, so we made some jungle flooring. And then let's craft that bed really quickly, so I don't forget. And we are going to craft housewares, wooden simple bed. And I wonder if we can customize it now. Yay, wooden simple bed. And we'll come on over, come on, customize. And we want to customize Oh, we can customize the mugs, too. That's so cool. Oh, right. Oh, and we don't have... Oh, we actually do not have any of the, the customization things in our inventory, so we can't change it. But here is pattern. <gasps> this is so cool. So then you can get... I think we've unlocked, like, all of these patterns that Sable made for us. I love the hibiscus one. 
<laughs> and she put in like a ton of hard work, she said. Look at the donuts. Oh, Sable, thank you. That was really sweet of her. I'm going to have fun with that. And of course, you can always add in your own custom design if you want to do a custom design for patterns, which I think is really cool. We could do a bunch of notes all over it. You could do a bunch of paw prints. Oh, okay. We'll have a lot of fun with that in the future. All right, let's see what the jungle flooring looks like really quickly. Then we're going to head out. Oh, this is so cool. Let's see, jungle flooring right over here. This is awesome! We already have the jungle walls as well that some of our wonderful patrons have actually gifted to me. So we're going to have a good time horizontally. Let's see, place on floor vertically. Oh, we're going to have such a good time, you guys. This is so cool. I love how the sound changes depending on what side of the flooring you're on. Yep, the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center is coming along, if you ask me. We still have quite a bit to add to it, but we're getting there. Alright, put these away. And let's actually dig around inside of our inventory really quickly. Anything else that I can sell that we're just, like, done with having for a minute? Um... Let's see, we have a bunch of explorer outfits I could possibly give away as gifts. I'm really okay without that bath towel for now. We can go ahead and sell that. I love having the ninja costume. We are going to be working on some bamboo things, so we'll go ahead and keep that. Um, The pajama dress was a gift, but I honestly, the shirt dress is more my speed. There we go. The knit hat I'm okay without. And... Any of these shoes? All of the orange slip-on loafers, I think. All right, we'll go ahead and sell those. You guys may also notice I have a lot of tarantulas. They're staying here for Flick. These are the tarantulas that Sheldon and I caught together. They are evidence of the hard work that we did to survive together, side by side. And let's see if we can pay off the bridge today so that by the time you guys come back for hopefully a double daily episode of Animal Crossing, we will have a very unique bridge built. That will be finished. I want to give Pierce his hat because he is the hero of the day along with Sable for gifting us such wonderful kind things. Pierce, I have a hat for you. This is for you, Pierce. Because he's always saying he's doing patrols around the village to keep it safe. I bequeath upon you a police cap. It's perfect! He's our little Viking police officer! I think he also likes it because it's blue. Oh, an emblem blazer! Thank you, Pierce! You never know where the chain of, like, gifting is going to take you. Okay, that's really cute. It's pink! And for some reason, it ridiculously reminds me uh, of Oron High School. Oron Host Club. Okay, that's really cute. It looks like I graduated from Puddle's School of Fashion. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and sell some of these items. I see you, Sahara. I'll work on Sahara tonight on my own and share with you guys the results of our work with her later. Also, a quick note for those of you who were following along with our wonderful flower adventures yesterday, which for me was earlier this morning. It turns out it's orange flowers that will make a purple flower, not black or orange tulips that will make a purple tulip, not black tulips making a blue tulip. So I was wrong on that. And we will actually want to cultivate a patch of orange tulips in order to make the rare purple tulip. And then let's grab this DIY. I knew you were hiding back here. To the lucky owner of a free bottle, I set my mind to making up the next big thing in DIY recipes, and lo and behold, I had this genius idea. My idea is here in this, in this bottle here. Take a chance on it. You'll see. Don't tell nobody else about this. Better get to it. Apollo. <gasps> Apollo! A bonfire again! Okay. That's like the third time that somebody has given me a bonfire recipe. That's funny. All right, well, I'll try mailing that to one of the villagers and seeing if that results in me potentially, oh, cherries, in me potentially getting some nice mail back. Also, I think we need to pick some of these weeds before we get the cherries. 
There we go. And let's go ahead and sell these so that we can see. Yeah, nothing over here, nothing over here. We can see if we can pay off the bridge and have a nice start to that day. All right, oh, and I'm so proud about this bridge, guys. We've done so well with the, the Vint Island. We still have a lot to do, but all we can do is just a little bit every day. That's kind of the name of the game at the moment. And Kitty's been cleaning a lot of things. Maybe we should give her a nice watering can. Oh, there were more cherries. All right, well, we know to go, where to go if we need some more fruit. Tommy, Timmy. How you guys doing? I think I still have a couple mugs I need to sell, actually. Uh, let's see. Emblem flavor, blazer, retro sweater. The retro sweater's cute. Uh, I think I might try gifting it back to Octavian. We'll see what happens if I do that. I'm gonna keep my apron. Folding floor lamp, oranges, knit hat, pajama dress. The pajama dress we might be able to give to somebody because it's cute. Uh, wooden simple bed, we'll go ahead and sell. Not my sea globe, not the rounded beard. I'll go ahead and save the rounded beard to give to somebody. And we'll give the last two mugs away to some of the villagers tonight. 16,000, there we go. Close, but not quite there, I think. Just a little bit more, boys. We'll have to go check on the orchard and see what's over there. Oh, and speaking on checking on the orchard, I know what we should do, guys. I want to invite over a very special friend tonight to come to the campgrounds because we have a very special day today. By the time you guys see this, it will be April 16th, and that is going to be International Elephant Day. And so I want to invite a special camper over both today and hopefully in our double daily episode to celebrate Elephant Day. And since we have to go over to the campgrounds to try to earn just a teeny bit more money anyway, we're gonna come in. We're gonna do a couple things, actually. We're gonna redeem some of these Nook Miles, even though I've never done it before. We're gonna go ahead and redeem them for the bell voucher, which is worth 3,000 bells over with the, the Tommy and Timmy setup. All right, so we'll take these to the boys and we will redeem it for bells. And we'll grab another one because I think we need at least, maybe, let's see, 87. And we need at least a few more thousand bells before we can pay off that bridge. I could withdraw it from our funds, but come on, where is the sense of adventure in that? Let me grab one more, maybe two more. And have some tea. Oh, you guys, this peach tea is so good. Ah, there we go. I really needed that. Oh, and I wonder what Isabel is reading. All right, I'll grab this last one. Redeem. Excellent. All right. Thanks for sitting through that. We're going to take all of these and hopefully have enough money for the bridge. And we're going to do something very special because for the first time, you guys are actually going to be able to see... Whoops. We need to get out of this. You're going to be able to see what happens when you invite an amiibo camper. So I went ahead and I dug through all of my amiibo cards to find an elephant to celebrate International Elephant Appreciation Day. They are extremely amazing animals. Elephants are very, very intelligent, and I really think that they deserve to be respected and given a lot of space as one of the most intelligent animals on the planet. Very big deal. So I thought we would celebrate International Elephant Day, not only with some fun adventures over in Planet Zoo, but also by inviting over some of the elephants I had amiibo cards for to our campsite. And I happen to have three of the elephants. And I rolled a dice to see which one would be visiting. And lo and behold, it's going to be this one. So let me go ahead to do the amiibo. You get out the amiibo card, you tap it to the Joy-Con, and Margie's going to visit. So we're gonna go ahead and invite her to the campsite like this. 
Yes, this is Margie. What do you need, Tootie? You're asking me to come visit the campsite on Wildberry? Absolutely I will. I'll leave for the island as soon as I can pack my stuff, Tootie. <laughs> so she's coming! And I thought that that would mean that the camper will show up tomorrow, but no, my friends. It means that we're going to go right over there to the campsite right now and finish the night off or at least begin the morning for all of you by seeing... Oh, Kitty, you're so cute with those glasses. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Just look at this fab loose fall dress I'm wearing. Sublime, don't you think? Who says I need a special occasion to dress up? Sometimes I like to look gorgeous for me and me alone. All right, I think she's definitely here because like some sort of relationship didn't work out uh, in a kind way. It seems like she's just gathering her, her wits about her and figuring out where she wants to go next as an educational piano teacher. All right, let's go ahead and sell these vouchers. Hello, you two. Bell vouchers, cherries, and why not these apples? All right, what do you guys think? 13, th thank you. That's getting a little closer to what I think I need. Bye, guys. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. All right, I haven't seen Sheldon, which is a pity. I would love to give him a, um, he might be in the museum, and that's always tricky for me to find villagers in the museum. But I want to give him one of the mugs on our way over to the campsite. I had, fixed, I had fixed you a snack room, but my cupboard's kind of bare. Don't worry, Ursula, I'm here to bring you a snack. Enjoy a nice cup of hot chocolate. Awesome, I've been eyeballing this forever, thanks a ton. I'm gonna need to clean up a little before I show it off. Yay, okay. Deepening our friendships, very happy. She also has the upright vacuum that I gave her the other day. We have, like, utterly transformed our villagers' homes with gifts. It's kind of amazing. All right, Sheldon, are you home? Sheldon is not home. But here we go, guys! So, ta-da! Ooh, and there's even a tiger beetle hanging out outside of her place. Got it? But once you invite an amiibo villager over, then all you need to do is come up to the tent and come say hello. They will be there immediately, which I think is really fun. Hey, Margie! Thanks for the invitation. Seems like a great place to camp, Tootie. It'd be great to take home a cutting... <gasps> a cutting board that was made here! Margie, do you know how much people in the Animal Crossing community are, like, ready to just absolutely lose it about getting the cutting board recipe? Pardon? She's amazing, you guys. You don't understand. This recipe is like gold among people who are trying to like build items for Animal Crossing right now. Anyway, just an idea I had. I can do it for you. Wow, you do it for me? Thank you so much. So basically what happens is when you invite a camper or get a camper at your campsite and you already have 10 villagers, the first few days they visit, you can fulfill requests for them. And if you have not yet learned the DIY object, they will give you the DIY recipe. So it's a great way to get extra recipes. And if you create the items that they are looking for for multiple days in a row and you keep inviting them back, you can actually move them into your island even if there's already 10 villagers because you will be able to pick who to evict. So if you really, really, really want to remove one villager and you happen to have an amiibo card, you can go ahead and evict someone. Personally, I would love a way to kindly remove a villager so that you're able to go ahead and get somebody new to visit you unexpectedly, but we'll have to see what happens. Oh, I happen to have a DIY recipe to make those if you need it. Um, yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you! Holy cow, Margie! Like, this is a super rare recipe! We're gonna go ahead and learn how to make the cutting boards. There are people who absolutely are losing it trying to learn how to make this cutting board recipe. Where is it? I want it! I want to see it! <laughs> there we go! Two hardwood and iron nugget. Margie, you just made so many people happy. We will go out of our way now, and I will try to make extra cutting boards for people who need them. The cutting board is a required item for the Ironwood Kitchen Set, which is one of the most popular things that people are looking for in Animal Crossing right now. 
All right, let's go ahead and pay off this log bridge. We have just enough, so that makes me very happy. Nobody else has paid towards it, but I did just install it this afternoon. All right, there you go, Lloyd. We'll go ahead and donate this. Ta-da! Yay! Man, we have worked on so much. Special gifts from Sable. We just learned the cutting board recipe of all things. This is amazing. All right, let's go home. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, here, we'll see, because I don't think I have the stuff sitting outside. Do I have some iron? <gasps> Gold nugget! What? Are you kidding me? Okay, I need some iron, please. I think I need two iron, thank you. All right, that's plenty. And then we just need to get a couple hardwood. We'll see if I have any lying down in front of my little crafting DIY area or not. Let's see. Nope. Did I already tap these trees? I did already tap these trees today. Hey, Julian. What about this one? Not this one. No hardwood there. Hey, Puddles. Too many trees, my foot. I mean, maybe it can get a little bit, a little bit tricky to navigate through here from time to time. <laughs> maybe I need to remove some of the trees to appease my villagers and raise the star rating of our island. But we'll get there when we get there. And in the meantime, if Annalisa moves out because it's so chaotic, I can't blame her. We'll just have to invite her back with the immutable card once we, you know, make everything settle down. All right, let's go ahead and take this cutting board back. And, oh, what's this? And we will have had a very full night indeed. I'm very happy with everything that we've done, guys. It's been pretty amazing. Whoop, what's this? DIY furniture. Oh, we have now crafted 200 DIY pieces. We're a picky crafter. And I can't believe we have the cutting board. Ooh, and that's a thousand bells. That's the thousand bell stink bug. Looks like my uncle. Excellent. What an amazing night. That makes up for getting the bonfire for like the third time. And I'll go ahead and work on my own, you guys, with Sahara to try to figure out if she has any special, super exclusive mystery items to give us. But let's wrap up the evening. Margie, drinking coffee this late? Here you go, cutting board. I hope you enjoy. I'm excited to add another piece to my collection of locally crafted wild berry souvenirs. Thank you. I'm so glad to have a cutting board from here. As a thanks, please take a snow globe. <gasps> a snow globe that can go with my sea globe. I've decided to build a collection of wild berry souvenirs. I've fallen in love with the place and its style, Tootie. At this point, I guess I'd drop everything to come here any time I was invited. That's a hint. Oh my gosh, what? I promise to always treasure my new cutting board, Tootie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know, I think she might move in where Annalisa is. Because Annalisa's parents have been wanting her to come home, so Annalisa said. Uh, and let's see what this snow globe is. So cute! <gasps> That's adorable! And it can go down next to our sea globe! Oh, they're both different, but at the same time, I love them. All right. Yeah, that fish is definitely just like a, maybe a little fake fish, but oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love it. You never know what you're going to stumble on in our wild berry adventures. So thank you guys so much for joining me for a relaxing evening as we wandered through the forest, spoke with the villagers, really just spent some time getting to know them a little bit better, appreciated the Able Sisters and their awesomeness. And slowly but surely found, find what it takes to feel like we're at home here. I really look forward to being able to stream more of our adventures together. So do keep an eye on our Twitch. Like I said, I would love if we could do the weekly KK concerts together. And just kind of check in on each other and see how the week's going. There's been a lot going on for the pixel biology community. And I'm doing my best to keep us going even in these hard times. So I appreciate your guys' support through likes and comments and just, you know, you guys being happy and safe and doing your best to take care of yourselves right now too. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like because it sincerely helps to keep our pixel biology adventures going. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more, then you guys know what to do. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious.
and I'll see you back here at Wildberry next time. Bye bye